Hi everyone and welcome back to PE for week number two. This week our PE task is a submission task so therefore you need to send me a video or if you can't video a few photos or if you can't do, take some photos then a written explanation on how you went with today's task. Last week we focused on our basketball dribbling and this week we're focusing on our passing. There are two main types of passes that we're going to try and focus on today. Firstly, the chest pass, and secondly, the bounce pass. Both are really important in our game of basketball. When completing a bounce pass or a chest pass, the first thing I want you to make sure you're doing is stepping forward with your opposite foot to what is your strongest side. So for me, I always step forward with my left foot as I am right-handed. Secondly, when our arms push forward when we're doing a pass, our thumbs need to snap down. Okay, so we push out and snap it down. We're going to do 20 wall passes, trying to hit the wall on the full and then continuing after you've bounced and picked it up. Now you might be thinking, but I don't have a wall. If you don't have a wall, that's okay. Find a family member and they can catch the ball instead of using the wall. Now we've done 20 chest passes, we're going to do 20 bounce passes. When we do a bounce pass, same thing, stepping forward and then thumbs finishing pointing down, but the ball needs to bounce before it hits the wall. Now we've warmed up, we're going to work on our passing accuracy. So we need a target. Now that might be as simple as using some chalk and drawing onto the wall, or I've got a target and I'm gonna stick it up. Again, if you don't have a wall, just pop something on the ground that you can pass to on the ground instead. Now I'm going to set a timer to see how long it takes me to do my 20 passes hitting my target on the full using my chest pass. Now activity number three, we're going to combine last week's dribbling lesson with this week's passing lesson. So what we're going to do is dribble down at least six dribbles and then we're going to do our chest pass. Now, once you're done with your chest pass, the next lap, I want you to do it with a bounce pass. I want you to do at least 10 laps. So five chest passes and five bounce passes.
Next, we're going to play a game called Horseshoe. In this game, you need five points or marker cones. For me, I've got the dots one to five, but most likely you won't have that at home, and that's okay. So you can just use five teddies, but just give them a number. One, two, three, four, five. needs to do bounce passes, okay? So you have two minutes to see how many laps you can do. Then swap over and challenge your partner. week's task is a submission task so you need to take a video photo or write me a note on how you went on all your different passing activities but before we go our special guest would like to show you a little trick and you can use this as your extension activity 